It's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and passing the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you have 250,000 devices which produce a JSON device status event every 10 seconds. You want to capture this event data for outlier time series analysis. What should you do? The question is fairly straightforward. A lot of devices sending a lot of data. We want to be able to capture this time series data, analyze it. Going a little deeper into the requirements, Let's look at the scale of data that you're having to deal with. If these 250,000 devices is producing an event which is about 1,000 bytes, this is going to amount to about 2 terabytes per day. Even if it was a smaller amount of data coming in, say, 100 bytes per status event, you'd still have 200 gigabytes per day. But let's you know, take the upper limit if possible. Um, you know, one case seems reasonably high enough for just a status message coming in. So to capture this kind of data, we're going to have to have huge scale that goes into hundreds of terabytes. This data is also going to be time series data. Right? So there's going to be a timestamp about when that event was generated. And more often than not, we want to be able to filter by the time column. So the choice of storage that we make has to suit time series data. Finally, we want to do analysis on this data. So ideally, we should be using a storage system that allows us to query the data fairly easily without us having to build new tools. With that understanding, let's look at the options. Option A suggests ship the data into BigQuery, then develop a custom application that uses the BigQuery API to query the data set and display device outlet data based on your business requirements. Let's see if that will work well for us. Now, BigQuery can easily scale to hundreds of terabytes. So there's no problem with respect to storage or the ability to query that kind of data. BigQuery also can now work with JSON data. So when these devices are sending in data, you can actually enter them into BigQuery if there's their new line separated. So it's fairly convenient to work with uh, JSON data, even if you have to do a little bit of transformation. Now, though we can have unstructured JSON data within BigQuery, I think the preference would be for structured tabular data. But this doesn't really stop us from working with this particular option, but it wouldn't be the top preference. Now, with data coming in, you know, at such large speeds, there are about 250,000 devices sending data every 10 seconds. This is essentially streaming data. And BigQuery, if you're going to uh, work with streaming data that you need to continuously insert, is a payable service. If you're going to load this data as batch data, that you've got all the data that you want and you just load it as a batch, then it's free. But as it is, in this requirement, this is going to cost quite a bit. Now, there has been no constraint with respect to saying, hey, we can't have additional cost or we can't have additional applications written and additional management that is coming from that. So the option to ship the data into BigQuery, then develop a custom application that will then query the data set is possible. There are a couple of weak points with this option, but in general, this is viable. So because of the couple of 
options that were not or the uh, couple of points that didn't work very well for this, I'm a little suspicious that this might not be the right answer. Even then, it does suit us quite a bit, so I'm going to park that for now. Option B suggests you ship the data into BigQuery. We already saw the, option, the pros and cons of BigQuery. Then use the BigQuery console to query the data set, which displays device outlier data based on your business requirements. As we saw, there are some pros and there's some cons with respect to BigQuery. Uh, the paid data is going to be, uh, sorry, the, uh, the streaming data is going to be paid and you'll have a, a little less ease when working with JSON, not too much so, and uh, this has improved quite a bit also. So still a viable option to use BigQuery. We can also run these queries in the BigQuery console. Now, again, the question is fairly light. It doesn't necessarily say that we want to be able to run this data only at a particular time or it has to be user driven or it has to be continuously happening. Yes, the data is coming in frequently, but when is the analysis being done? Is it instantly, is it regularly, or is it once in a while somebody playing with the data? But assuming the case where this might be a regular requirement, then using the console would not be automatable. Again, it's not a worry for us, but between the previous option we saw and the current one, it's just easier to go with option A if it became a fight between these two. So just on that basis and still keeping A as a potential option, we can eliminate option B. Moving on, option C suggests that you ship the data into Cloud Bigtable. Then use the Cloud Bigtable CBT tool to display device outlier data based on your business requirements. Now, for time series data, Bigtable is the recommended solution. So when you have any requirement that needs to have highly scalable, fast ingestion of time series data, Big query, I'm sorry, big table should be your um, first choice that comes to my mind. Of course, there might be other options that then reject it, but for the most part, big table should be one of your primary options. Now, big table is a NoSQL database and it will be able to accommodate unstructured JSON data in some way. Again, there might be some transformations required, but it is possible. For the large amount of data storage that will be required, for the kind of scaling that will be required for this requirement, Bigtable can easily accommodate that. Right? It can scale to many hundreds of terabytes. It is also very efficient for both reads and writes. Now, this is something that BigQuery might not be the best option for. BigQuery is optimized for reads, but not so much for writes. Whereas Bigtable, works for both reads and write. Also, Bigtable has a command line tool called CBT, which is readily available. Compared to Big, the BigQuery option, which is A, they had to write an additional application for it. This one, we should be able to run this right from the command line and also include it as part of the scripts. Therefore, this seems to be a good option that checks off most of the requirements or all the requirements that we have for this question. So I'm feeling fairly confident about option C being the right answer, but we haven't seen all the options yet, so we're gonna park this also. Option D suggests that we ship the data into Cloud Bigtable and install and use HBase shell for Cloud Bigtable to query the table for device outlet data based on your business requirements. So this is very similar to option C, where you're using Cloud Bigtable, which happens to be the recommended solution for time series data. It can scale very well for um, reads and writes, and it can scale to many hundreds of terabytes of data. So all those are okay. However, having to install HBase shell would be additional work. Why would we do that when we already have a ready-made tool in CBT? So for that reason, we can eliminate option D. So with those, the only option that stands out, there were a few close options actually in this particular set of options, 
but option C is the most viable, which would be to use Bigtable for data storage, which is a recommended solution with time series data. And with this much data coming in quickly, which requires it to be written, Bigtable scales very nicely for both reads and writes. It also has a ready-made command line tool, which allows you to do a certain amount of analysis. So considering everything, option C is a best option. If you're interested in picking up loads more learning on Google Cloud, go ahead and subscribe right away.